So far, we've used simple fixtures with just a single parameter to be changed and that only require one channel. In real life, your devices will have more than one channel. Just think of a moving head where you have control over pan, tilt, gobo, color, dimmer, and more. Each one of these parameters requires a DMX channel. A logical question would be, do we have to program each channel of the fixture? Do we have to assign a DMX address for each channel? Well, luckily, the answer is no. And let's see why. Looking at a Mac 250, it has the following 12 channels. Channel 1 and 2 control the dimmer and the shutter. The value of channel 3 determines the color of the light. Channel 4 and 5 control gobo functions. Channel 6 and 7 are for focus and prism effects. And pan and tilt can be found on channels 8, 9, 10 and 11. And finally, channel 12 controls the speed of pan and tilt. The way it works is that you assign a DMX address of 1 to the fixture. Now, because it has 12 channels, the fixture will react to DMX values 1 to 12. That is, all the values on the DMX link labeled from 1 to 12 will be sent to the appropriate channels of the device. Let's check out the animation. If we want to add another Mac 250 to the link and be sure that it's controlled completely independently of the first fixture, we must make sure that it listens to DMX values outside the range 1 to 12. The next available and legal DMX address is 13. It could also be 14, 15 or higher, but that would be a waste of channels. We won't waste channels, so we'll assign a DMX address of 13 to our second Mac 250. Every DMX value on the link labeled 13 to 24 will now end up in the correct channels of the second Mac 250. Until now, we've assumed that the order of DMX values matched the order required by the fixture, that dimmer values come first, followed by shutter values and so on. There are no true standards regarding channel layout. In the end, the operator has to consult the manufacturer's own DMX protocol charts. Martins can be found on this DVD in the chapter Extras. This is an example of DMX addressing in a larger setup. This is a dip switch. As you can see, it consists of 10 individual switches that can be set to either on or off. Different combinations of on and off represent different DMX addresses. This is an LED display. It's another way of setting a fixture's DMX address, allowing you to select it with a simple decimal interface. To do that, press Menu, press Enter, Press enter again to confirm DMX, and then scroll up to your desired DMX address. When you've found it, simply press enter. And finally, press menu two times to exit the menu setup. Now you will see your DMX address displayed. The next chapter reveals the binary theory needed to set a dip switch address.